Hey everybody, Tom from How to Wrangler here. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick install and review video of these new 18 watt spotlight LEDs from Nylite. Now Nylite was kind enough to sponsor this video and send me these 18 watt LEDs for free. Um, along with their wiring harness kit uh, for both of the dual front uh, floodlights. So I'm going to show you how to install these guys and then do a quick review video and let's jump right into this. All right guys, so step one, we're actually gonna be coming inside the vehicle because we're gonna wanna make sure we have that switch available inside here. So we're gonna have to go through the heat shield in the front of the vehicle. So if you reach down to the bottom of this panel and with your fingers, you can start popping it out and it comes right off like that. All right, and then right in here, there's a hole that goes through the heat wall, the, the firewall in the front of the Jeep. It's actually foam and you can kind of dig through there with a wire hanger, which is what I'm gonna do. And actually, I've already done it for my spotlight on top, um, my LED bar, but I'm gonna run the same wire through that same hole, and I'll show you how I do that right now. All right, so what I've done is I've actually put a straightened out uh, clothes hanger and ran it through from the inside, from that hole inside the Jeep, and it comes right out here through the front. So it's wiggling on the back end over here too. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the three wires, the red, black, and white that attach to the, the little controller without the controller on it. And I'm going to attach them using electrical tape to the wire hanger so that we can pull them through into the, into the Jeep. So I'm gonna try all three together. If this is too big, I may just go back and do one at a time, but Let's see what we can do here. If I stagger them so that it's not too thick, maybe that'll work well. And just wrap this up. All I'm trying to do is make this small so when I pull it back through the Jeep, it's not too thick and won't get stuck. And make sure that the front isn't too open like that. So there we go. So we've got them all together. And I'm going to go to the other side and pull them through. Make sure that nothing is hooked on anything. Straight through. So as you can see, the, the wires came straight through over here. So now I can just take off this electrical tape and we'll have access to our three wires on the inside and we can connect the toggle switch. Which actually, it says it's waterproof too, which is good to know. Uh, if you're ever going off-roading and you, you know, have your running your light bar, you got your window open, some splashing water comes in or something like that, your toggle switch will be protected. So here we go. So we got the three wires here. Now, the instructions that came with the wiring kit are actually incorrect. Uh, there is one gold connector and two bronze. The gold connector goes to the black, goes to the ground. The red and the white can go in any order on the other two. You can have the red in the center, white in the center, it doesn't matter. And the way you'll know is once you connect to the battery, this light will light up. If it's not connected correctly, this light will not light up and it will not turn on the lights. So just keep that in mind. So for now, I'm gonna keep this just hanging out in here because I'm gonna neaten this up when I put the cover back on. But we've got this first part through, okay? So let's move back to the other side. All right, so now that I've got the wires coming through here, the red wire and the white wire could come off of the switch, okay? I have coming all the way across here, I'm gonna tuck them behind here to keep everything nice and neat. The black wire comes out, and I, that's actually just a ground wire. It's very short. I've got that connected to a bolt on the right-hand side and the driver's side along here. It's actually this bolt on the opposite side. 
Uh, you can just loosen this up, pop it under there, and tighten it down. It's only a ground wire. Okay? So, uh, in your Jeep, if you don't have any other light bars, you won't have anything else here. I have the light bar from up top hooked up here. Um, I'm going to do a, a, another video follow-up on this, how to organize this even better, because right now it's starting to get a little bit messy, but uh, I can show you how to organize everything here. But for now, this will still work. So, I'm going to connect the red terminal to the red battery and the there's two reds actually I'm sorry so they come back like this off of the the first red come, goes directly to the controller the second red comes off of here and there's a black here so I'm gonna put the both of the reds in there and the black ground here and I'm gonna get my wrench to tighten that up so here we go, you get your torque wrench. And it's a uh, number 10, 10 millimeter. And make sure you got everything nice and neat in here. As neat as you can. There we go. Now, you've got this junction box and this fuse box, which you can mount just like I've got mounted here. I'm actually not gonna mount this one because I've already got the other ones here, and like I said, I'm gonna be cleaning everything up. So for now, I'm just gonna leave them loose, but you should put a, uh, a nut through right there and mount this to keep it secured, okay? So, but for now, I am just gonna tuck everything away like so all right so the next step all i've got left coming off of here are the two connectors that are going to connect to the actual light themselves so you've got one that's much shorter and longer so obviously this is for the passenger side and this is for the driver side so i'm going to show you how to run these right now okay so First step, what do we have here? You get a, a Torx T30 bit, and you're gonna remove these two bolts. I've already taken one out, here's a second one. Okay. And this is gonna allow you to run the wire underneath here. Okay, and keep everything nice and hidden. So what I'm gonna do, is grab the light and put the wiring through there and put on the washer below and hold that in place and then hand tighten the nut. There we go, and we can tighten that down after. So I'm going to connect. First I'm going to do just a dry connect to make sure that I've got everything going to the right spots. So let me go flip the switch. All right, so let's test these. All right, so now that I know that the dry test that these do in fact connect, I'm going to use some pliers and crimp down the connection. Let's try that again. So I'll crimp down the connection. Make sure that's nice and solid. Like that. 
and do both of them. You stick the wire in all the way to the edge of the rubber and crimp it. There we go. I'm just going to do one more test, make sure that, that connection is still good. There we go. And now we're going to tuck these wires. Actually, first, added step here just to make sure. And keep those wires protected. Grab some electrical tape. I've got yellow so you guys can see it better. And wrap up each of these individually to make sure you cover the opening just to give a little bit of extra moisture protection on that connection. Like that. Never a bad idea. All right. And then, if you lift up, right here you can see I can hook the wire underneath there and put it right back into the corner, just like that. And then just make sure that the wire is not covering the hole. All right, so now I've run the other wire that's coming over the driver's side underneath the front of the uh, hood here. And here's a little tip because this gets pretty tight at the end here. So what I did is I actually let this mount loose and you turn it, going through the hole you'll get a little bit of extra slack. And once again lifting up the bushing here, you can slide it underneath and tuck the wire away nice and neat. And then make sure before you finish this that you turn this back so that you're not you're not stuck when you've got this put down into place and you can't mount this correctly just like that and then once again just check and make sure it's still lit and I'm going to screw this down and then I'll give you a little review of what I think of these guys once they're all mounted and put in place all right, I want to give you guys an idea of how bright these things are. They are incredibly bright. Boom. Now you can see how bright these are right now. Now compared to my full, uh, full length LED bar, they're not that much dimmer. They really do make a huge difference. Um, let me show you from the other angle. Alright, and just to give you guys a good idea of what these look like, this is the no lights, just the, just the spotlight. That is pretty damn bright. I already love these things. And for the price, you can't beat them. Uh, I'll put a link to Amazon below. You guys got to go out and pick up a pair of these and map them to your dashboard. Uh, you're going to love these freaking things.